the Tower of London, a place rich in history and mystery, is not only known for its formidable architecture and storied past, but also for the spectral presence of one of England's most enigmatic figures. Thomas Becket, the Archbishop of Canterbury, met a tragic end in 1170 when he was brutally murdered in Canterbury Cathedral. His spirit, it is said, continues to linger within the walls of the Tower of London, manifesting in chilling encounters and unexplained phenomena. Legend has it that during the construction of the Inner Curtain Wall, Thomas Becket, displeased with the work, struck the wall with his cross, reducing it to rubble. This spectral intervention is considered one of the earliest recorded encounters with the ghost of Thomas Becket at the Tower. The grandson of Henry VIII is believed to be connected to Becket's demise, sought to atone by constructing a chapel within the Tower for the Archbishop. It is said that Beck Becket's spirit found solace in the completion of the chapel, with no further disturbances reported thereafter. Visitors to the Tower have reported eerie occurrences including the sound of ghostly footsteps echoing through the corridors, believed to be the phantom steps of a monk. The tales of hauntings date back to the 13th century, when a monk claimed to have encountered the specter of Becket, clutching a crucifix and expressing discontent with the newly built gate. In more recent times, reports of paranormal activity persist with a tourist capturing a mysterious hand with a lace cuff in a photograph, and sightings of a ghostly monk wandering the area, adding to the lasting legacy of Thomas Becket's presence at the Tower of London. So if you ever find yourself at the Tower of London, keep your eyes open and listen. You just might encounter the ghostly presence of the Archbishop or one of the many iconic figures still said to haunt its grounds. If you enjoyed this video, please like and follow the channel. Until next time.